Real love doesn't meet you at your best. It meets you in your mess. Because love is sometimes determined in the ears of the listener. Welcome to the house of love. Welcome to the show. Thank you. So what are your expectations? Um, not much. Someone who understands me, uh -huh. someone who is a good listener, uh -huh. and the rest will just follow. Thank you so much. I hope you find your partner tonight. I hope so too. Okay, you're welcome. Melina, you're welcome to the show. Thank you. So what are your expectations? A perfect man for me, yeah. A perfect man, that's yeah. all. Somebody who will understand you, who you will match with. Yeah. Okay, so she's looking for a perfect man. Stay with us and let's see if she finds love. Hello again and welcome to another episode of Blind Date. This is my house and in my house, all I do is make love. My name is Portia Free Love, and a very special thank you to Casuals by Sleek Afrik for this beautiful outfit and Bani Jewelry for my accessories. Thank you so much. And um, this episode, uh, let's see if the potion works because last week it didn't work out for me. I don't think it, it was properly mixed. Let's see how it goes this week. Wow, baby. You're looking Hi. good today. Hi. I love your hair. Thank you. The color, your makeup, oh, your lashes. Thank oh my you. god, you're blushing. I'm blushing. You don't look bad. You look great. Yeah, you see how the show goes every time, Charlie. For if we step up the game, you see that kind I of thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So my name is Ignatius, aka Real Men Wear Pink, and we are yet. It's yet an amazing episode of Blind Dates, and this week. <laughs> Last week, it, last week the dates didn't go well. I was, Oscar, I was like, in my house. Yeah, but I, I think we should do our home check and see if this one's gonna work out. The portions, the portions. I don't know if they're not working well, but this week, let's see how it goes. <laughs> All right, we'll catch you here. All right, so um, before we go. Uh, let's see if Bella has something for us. This oh, Bella week. definitely does have something for us. That girl too. <laughs> Every day she did bring something. Bella, Bella. I call her Bella the Para. <laughs> Bella the Hook. The Para. <laughs> the Winters. Alright, so guys. You see, this is how we do in our house. It's about blind it. We will make love. Good and kicking. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay, so the name is Nana Kwame Kerry Richmond. Oh, okay. My name is Melina Achina. Melina Achina. Yeah. That's nice. It's a cute name. Thank you. Okay, so Nana Kwame here. It's, uh, first of all, let me say it's actually nice to meet you, though I can't see you. Yet, I'm the only child between mom and dad. On mom's side, I have three more brothers after me. And then on dad's side, two sisters and three brothers. I'm still the big bro on both sides. And I'm a graduate from Regional Maritime University. I did a short course under marine engineering. And aside that, I'm a model and then an actor. And I'm just the free-spirited type. I love to swim, I love to sing. 
I love nature. I love to meet new people, learn from them, learn about new things. And I'll, I'll say my favorite color is white, but I love them all. And this is just a little about me. What about you? As you know, Melina is my name. Okay. And my mom and dad are divorced, but I'm the firstborn. Okay. Yeah. My mom's side, she has six kids. And my dad's side, he has five kids. Okay. Yeah. And I mean, that's for the university now. Okay. Yeah. And I'm not working, I'm a student. I depend okay. on my parents. Yeah. All right. And green and blue is my favorite color. Mm, nice. Yeah. I think I chose one of your favorite colors today. <laughs> I'm in green top though. <laughs> oh, okay. Mm -hmm. that's, that's nice. Yeah. Okay. And it seems your voice is shaking a bit. Are you nervous? Somehow. Oh, come on. Just taking a deep breath and everything is cool. <laughs> okay, so um, you can feel free to ask me anything about myself, like anything you want to know. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, Kelly. Yes. Um, how many girls have you dated so far? How many girls have I dated so far? Um, okay, honestly speaking, I don't keep count, not in a negative way, because there are some people that I've been with and I'll just say it was just a fling. And then there are some that were actually meaningful relationship. So if we're talking about the the lot as in total i don't actually have it in mind but like meaningful relationship i would say between three to five oh wow. yeah but all the relationship you've been in mm -hmm. you had sex with them all no then there are some that it was let me say starting to get to know each other like beyond the physics you understand mm -hmm. and then maybe along the line things doesn't go as planned and then maybe we have to just call it off and then maybe walk our way our uh, different ways you understand okay yeah so how do you want your girlfriend to be like how do i want my girlfriend to be like yeah Okay, honestly speaking, when it comes to an ideal partner, I don't actually have such a picture in my mind. Okay. Because you may have all the list, this check, height check, this, this, that. Mm -hmm. And then what makes you so sure that if you should meet someone with such uh, standards or qualities, what makes you sure that the person is gonna like you for who you are, you understand? Mm -hmm. So for me, I would say we are all unique in our own ways. Mm -hmm. So, picking a partner, I personally go beyond, or I see it beyond just the physics, like the appearance and everything, you understand? So it's just about taking the person and accepting her for who she is, mm -hmm. you understand? Working out your differences, mm -hmm. and then hope that the two of you can what can merge, and then you plan something good for the future. Okay, that's nice. Yeah. What about you? I'll I'll throw that same question to you. Mm -hmm. I, I I as for me, I want a man who will love me for who I am and um. I don't know, like a determined, hardworking man. Like, even if um, um I don't know, like 
anything like anything in a man a man who can satisfy me in bed okay yeah so that's all you look up to yeah. if i may ask yeah okay okay let me ask you this okay does the physics like the appearance let's say the height the broad chest blah 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 like do they really matter to you when picking a partner no so far as you have what i want okay so what do you want I as I said, I want a man who can satisfy me in bed. Okay. A man who can take care of me. Okay. Even if maybe um financial or physical or anything. You understand, you get me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I'm not saying I would depend on the, the person or something. Okay. Yeah. So just these two, satisfaction in bed, and then attention taking care of you, and then attention. Yeah, attention. Okay, that's all right. But okay, based on what you just said, let me also give you my my own version of it. Okay. Okay. So for me, when going into a relationship, mm -hmm. it's not just about the sex. Mm -hmm. You get it. It's about deeper connection. You understand? Okay. Like, I would say, building a meaningful relationship with someone that goes beyond the physical appearance. When I stand in front of you, when you stand in front of me, what you see, you understand? But if you are not good in bed. Mm -hmm. So meaning the sex is more important to you. It's not important, but it counts. Yeah, okay. So if you ask me, I would say the sex is just a plus. Yeah. You understand? If you have like a small dick or something, you can't... Okay, so meaning, in other words, you wouldn't go in for someone with a small dick? No. Oh, okay. Well, um, not to deviate, but let me just chip in, chip this in. Personally speaking, I would say it's actually not about the dick size. Mm -hmm. You understand? It's actually not about how long the person will last in bed. Mm -hmm. It's about how well the person can satisfy you. Someone, you'd be surprised that someone with a smaller dick could do wonders in bed than someone with seven or six inches. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay, so. Talking of partners, <clears throat> sorry, I want someone mm -hmm. who listens. Because if you're a good listener, mm -hmm. you'll be able to understand me very well. Okay. okay? And everything, I would say, boils down towards understanding. Mm -hmm. When we are able to understand each other, okay, okay. we will be able to build a meaningful and long-lasting relationship. And through understanding, that is where we start or begin to build trust. And then there is no way you'll be able to listen to me or understand me when we don't have a good and honest communication. So you understand? Yeah. So me personally, communication counts. And then through communication, you listen, and then you understand, okay? And then I also want someone who is okay in their own skin. I wouldn't want you to change who you are or pretend to be someone that you are not just to impress me, you understand? Yeah. Because I believe that when you choose someone, you choose both the good and then the bad of them, and it is, your duty as a man or as a woman to accept your partner for who they are. Learn to love them for the good and then for the bad. 
because I wouldn't go in for a partner that I'll feel that if I disclose certain things to you, I'll feel that you'll judge me. No, I want someone that I can freely open up, tell them or pour out my heart to them because I know that even if the whole world will judge me, they are the only people or they are the only person that's not going to judge me because they know and understand and likes me for who I am. You get it? Yeah. All right. I don't know if you have something to say on that. No, I don't have anything to say on that. Okay. So, I'd like to ask you a question. Okay. Um, this question is actually based on me, myself. How do you feel about guys who have body arts, like tattoos, and then guys who braids their hair? Okay, as for me, if I take you to my family, as in, we dating right now, or maybe if we have something to do, something. if I take you to my house right now. Okay, pause. Can you take in a deep breath? Another one. Okay, now feel relaxed. Let's continue. If I take you to my house right now. Good. They wouldn't accept you okay. because of the tattoo and the breathing you, you have on. Okay. Because my house is a Christian home and we don't do those things on our body or get that thing on mm. as you understand. Yeah. Okay, and so, all right, sorry. They see you to be like some rascal or something like, you understand? Okay. Yeah. All right. So, um, per what you are saying, so if your family see me to be some sort of rascal, and then you know me for who I am, that Nana Kwame or Kerry is not a rascal, or he's not as they are thinking, what will you do on your behalf as a partner to help the relationship or the union that we have? move forward or is it because your family rejects me then automatically you're also gonna walk away from whatever we have built i don't know if you understand my question yeah i do understand okay i'll try talking to them okay. if really i love you i'll talk to them so that we can be together okay yeah but you made a statement, if really you love me, but I don't think if you don't love me, you want to take me to your family, would you? No. Okay. So maybe you should, you should go over your, your statement and then maybe rephrase, rephrase it. Okay. If I love you. If. You're still putting the if. <laughs> because honestly speaking, me personally, if I don't love a woman or I don't see myself in the future with that person, trust me, there is no way I'm ever going to take you home to introduce you to my folks that, hello, people, I'm in with this beautiful damsel, you understand? Yeah. But for me to take that step should tell you that whatever we have has escalated to a different level altogether. So you repeating the if it actually puts the whole thing in a question mark. Okay. I'll talk to them about us. Okay. Then clear the doubt in their heads. Oh, okay. Then move on. Oh, okay. Well, I asked that question because I'm an actor and then I'm a model. You understand? Yeah. And then there are maybe a certain shoot that I do that I braid my hair. Mm -hmm. And okay, my body at are actually not that visible like yeah, for someone just to see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Unless I, I put on certain clothes before you be able to know that oh this wow. guy have tats. You understand? Yeah. That's why I actually asked the question that you personally and then 
I also want you to understand I also come from a Christian home. Okay? Okay. I don't joke with church. But I do what I do with a clear conscience that I only think about what my mom will say or think. But as far as my mom is cool, I'm cool, and then I don't have any bad bad intention, you understand? So, meaning I'm cool. But I actually wanted to know your side of it, if like you are okay with such a thing, with as body at all, tattoo, or maybe braids. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. So personally, if maybe my partner doesn't want me to continue braiding, sure, I can stop. But the body art is there. That's why I wanted to know your view. Okay. Okay. And I want to ask this. With you in a relationship, mm -hmm. would you rather prefer to talk things out or than to bear a grudge? To talk things out. Okay. So, meaning, if there's a problem or I go wrong, you wouldn't overlook and keep quiet and then you'll be piling it and then you'll be keeping it within yourself. Then one day, you, you, you descend everything on me. No. Okay. It's not right. All right. Because that's, that's how I also like it. Now, if there's something that doesn't sit well with either of us, we talk it out. You understand? Yeah. We resolve it and kill the fire and then let the good energy continue. You understand? Yeah. Okay. And don't let me be doing all the questions. You can also ask. Okay, sure. All right. So, since you are not asking, I'll ask another. Okay. Per your own point of view, which one is more important? What to say to your partner or how to say? Come again. Per your own view, which one is more important? What to say to a partner or how to see whatever you have in mind? I think what to say to your partner. Why? Because you have to, in a relationship, you have to think twice because you and your partner, um, I don't know whether stay together or anything, but you have to think twice. Mm. Do you want me to come again on that? Yes. Okay, so let's, let's say that um, maybe, you know we are humans, we have our differences, okay? So we are disagreeing, I'm giving you a case scenario, okay? We are disagreeing on something, okay? But I want to know from you, in as much as we are having a disagreement or maybe an argument, mm -hmm. is, it, is it what to say to me that's important to you or how to say what you want to say to me? Do you understand it? Like you have something in mind that you want, you want to bring it out, okay? Is it the what you have in mind that is important or the how you want to bring out that thing? How I want to bring out that thing? The how? Yes. But before you say the what, okay, <laughs> anyway, why? Why do you say the how? Because I would have to think about what I have to say to you. Like how I have to put things in place okay. to put it to you. Maybe you went, like you passed my back and I caught you. So I have to put it to you. Say, um, this and this is what you did. Like I have to think about it. I don't need to create an argument 
in that. Okay. Yeah. That's that's very beautiful. Okay, I asked this question based on something I said earlier on communication. Okay. You know, communication is a very broad something. Yes. There is no way you can correct wrong with wrong. In as much as I am at fault. If you want to correct me, and then it is not in a polite manner. You had good intention, okay? But it might worsen the case. You understand? Yeah. And... Because you are wrong doesn't mean I should shout on you or use mean words on you. And I might, I might have everything that I want to say to you in mind. But the how matters. Because how it will come to you, how it will sound, you get it. Yeah. And most of the time, we do say things to people not thinking of how and then it will make them feel worthless. It will make them feel like they are useless they, or they are nothing. You understand? So in as much as the what you want to say matters, the how, I would say, comes above the what. Because if you have something good in mind and you don't bring it out well, the how doesn't come well. It will become something bad. Okay. You understand? Okay. Would you like your girlfriend to have a best friend? Okay. This best friend of a thing, I personally, I don't have one. But if I'm dating someone, that person is my best friend, my partner, and everything. In a sense that... Whatever I'm going through, whatever I'm thinking, whatever plan I have, that person is whom I go to first. My first, uh, how do you call it, source of what contact when I have something in mind. So I'm not the bossy type that will be like, hey, I don't want you to be friends with this or be, be friends with that. I don't want you talking to this or that. I believe that before I met you, you had friends. Whilst we are together, you still have friends and continue to even make new ones. You understand? But if you have a partner, I believe or I think that your partner should be your best friend because per my own understanding, when we say best friend, there are someone who knows you in and out. You understand? Yeah. They know the good and then the bad. Your bad behavior, your good behavior, your worst moments, your good moments. And then still they don't judge you. They tag along. They support you in everything. Okay? Yeah. So if your partner can't be that kind of person to you, and then you need another person outside the relationship to be that type of friend to you, then there's a question mark on that relationship. So to answer you, my partner can have, a, uh, can have friends, but I believe she should be able to make me her best friend. Or we should be able to make ourselves best friends. Okay. Does that answer your question? Yeah. Carrie. Yep. Please, assuming we are dating. Okay, I'm assuming. Then I get a scholarship to okay. study abroad. Okay. Would you wait for me or you would move on? Okay, so this actually stands on long distance relationship. Okay, personally I've done long distance relationship before and I wanted to get married back in 2018 and she was from South Africa. You understand? So let me say my ex fiance was from South Africa. So long distance relationship. Personally, I don't think distance should be a barrier when it comes to true love and relationship. And me personally, if you ask me, I will hold on tight as long as you will not let go of your own, of your end. 
you get it. Yeah. You are going to study to better yourself, which will one way or the other help the two of us or the life we have ahead. And if what we have means a lot to me, or I see it to be very meaningful, and like, I picture us in the future together as a happy family. I don't, I don't think or I don't see why distance should let me walk away from something that beautiful. You make me happy, I make you happy. You're good, I'm good. Everything is on point. <laughs> the distance can stay somewhere. We'll, we'll cross that bridge. Okay, what about you? I wouldn't, I, I, I wouldn't, I would continue, like I would move on. You move on like? You, you boycott the whole relationship because of the distance? Yes. Oh, wow. Because mm -hmm. when I'm dating, mm -hmm. I need my boyfriend around me. Is it because of the sex? No. Not because of the sex. Okay. But I, I need him around me. I don't know why. I... Do you trust in your relationship? 50-50. Why 50-50? Because <laughs> boys can break your heart anytime. Right? anytime. That statement is actually, it's, personally I would say it's not correct. It's vice versa. It's mm -hmm. correct because mm -hmm. a group of boys can gather around. Mm -hmm. Then you know you are dating. Mm -hmm. But they'll be like, a girl will be passing by, Charlie, eh. Make a move on, make a move on. This girl, she be nice, so Charlie, go, go, go. Oh, Charlie, me, oh, Charlie, me, I have a girl, but still don't influence you, go. You well, you have a girlfriend. My dear, I personally wouldn't go or talk much about this. Why? Because I buy the boat teaching at the Boba. It works in both ways. A lady, who is madly in love with a boyfriend can easily be swayed away with material things or something else. Like anything at all can happen, you understand? Not all ladies. So thank you, not all guys as well. But then, if you say you trust 50-50, then I don't really know if what you have actually means a lot to you. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. Because if if you are really, really in love and then it's not just you alone being in love. When you are being when you are loving someone and then you are being loved equally on the same scale, trust me, you see things differently. So who goes first? Ladies first. No, you first. Oh really? Well, I started the whole conversation. Is it okay if you go first? Okay, sure. Yeah. So you can see me now. Come on, say something. I know I'm ugly. <laughs> Hello. Me, I can see you now. Okay, so it's my turn. Huh? Jeez. Oh. Damn it. Just give me some few seconds. This is Nana Kwame Kerry. Um, Melina. Okay. Hmm. Okay. It's it's finally nice to see you in person. 
before I was in some dark dungeon. <laughs> Okay, so tell me, how, how do you see the vibe? Like, yeah. Why in this? Well, I told you, I'm an actor and then a model. Yeah. So, I was actually on a project. I was shooting some series. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm Ignatius and you are Melina. Melina. Yeah. So Melina, what was your expectations before you came to the show? I was expecting someone with no tattoo and braided hair. No tattoo embroidered hair. Mm. So you have your specific kind of man that you want. Yeah. But people, people do that for reasons. Maybe it's not him, maybe he has a show or you see. I was watching you from afar and according to him he said he's into modeling and he's into entertainment and all that. You know, in this our world, we have people who are into those kind of fashion and stuff like that, but that's not the real thing that they do outside what uh, outside their life. They have that thing just to shoot a video or something like that. So you can't just judge from the beginning that you're just looking for someone without tattoos and all that. Maybe he might not be a bad person to you. Well. Hmm? <laughs> so please, if you're coming in the life of Melina, please, no tattoos, no hair braids. <laughs> If not be so, in fact, I go chop you. This is Blind Date, and I have with me... Kerry. Kerry, is that your full name? Richmond Nana Kwame Kerry. Wow. You have... He, he does have a nice name. He does. Kerry. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. You're welcome to the show Blind Date. Okay. And um, I was listening to your conversation with... Mi Milina. Milena. Milena. That's also a beautiful name right there. Well, I was listening to the conversation and um, the first question I want to ask you is, what's your overall take on hair, her personality? Tell me, what's your overall take? Um, personally, on a scale of one to ten, I'll say, Fine, she's, she's okay. Okay, no. as in? She's okay, but looks like she's not certain of what she wants. According to you? Yes, according How to How sure are you you are certain of what you want? Okay, so this is it. Personally, I love to ask questions when I, I want to get to understand something. So I ask questions based on things I want to know. And then some of the answers, like she's not so sure. Okay, so you're saying you've asked her enough questions to think that she's not certain. That's what you're saying. Exactly. Oh, I see. And then she also made a statement that based on her past relationship, so from there, it looks like she's letting the past be a barrier between her and what lies ahead, like in terms of moving forward when it comes to a new relationship, yeah. Okay, so would you call her understanding? Because if you like asking a lot of questions, you're probably repeating yourself, you know, over and over. Would you call her understanding? My questions were, weren't repeated. They were different questions altogether. And so would you call her understanding? Not 100%. Not 100%. Yeah. So. How's it gonna be for you and her? What do you think? Uh, the vibe, the way I actually wanted it, isn't there. Because like she's holding back on certain things. You understand? And for me, like you don't just judge someone. I think everyone deserves a chance to prove who they are. 
So, so you're gonna give her that chance to prove who she is. Uh, maybe we can start from friendship. Well, if someone has built barriers around them, I think that you should break it down. <laughs> That's why I say we'll start from friendship. So you're breaking it down from friendship. Well, let's see how it goes. Right. All the best, Kerry. And then, uh, well, I hope my potion actually do mix properly. Well, this is Blind Date. My name is Pasha Free Love. Some people say love is a game. Others say it's a feeling you can't deny. Well, this is the game segment on Blind Date. My name is Bella Adjiman, and our dates are here. Nana Kwame and Melina, you're welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. So, what happened? Well, you, are you guys ready to play the game? Yeah. It's, uh, you just you just have two options. One person has to sing, the other has to dance. Do you want to play? No vibes. My, or... my mind on day. My mind on day. Melina, to your mind on day. Like, I'm so sad right now. This is so not good. The other time, you know, like, today, like, what's happening? As Free Love said, maybe we need to work with our portions. Anyway, this brings us to the end of the show. I'm sad, but I have to go. Thank you. 